Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, we're gonna be talking about Star Wars Celebration, how it just released the Ahsoka series trailer, which did not disappoint. And we're gonna get into it. But before we do start that, remember hit the subscribe, like and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And then also don't forget, I have a membership program. There's three tiers to that, make sure to join. And as always, once you're done watching this video, Go check out my last one. Give that one a thumb up as you watch. Guys, without further ado, let's start the show. Right off the rip, we get Ahsoka and we see her in the trailer. And let me tell you, she looks great. And it appears she kind of goes into this like little tomb that she breaks down into, which looks phenomenal i love the shots that i've got here and again it just made me super excited to even see this trailer come out then we after get sabine wren looking at her helmet and it looks like she is meditating just the same way we got to see her meditate with ezra in star wars rebel so it looks like she's keeping her training going still and then right after we see Ahsoka in some trouble with some droids, which I want to get into in another video. So just stay tuned for that one as it'll come out very, very soon because there's a lot to go into for this video. But I just want to give you guys the breakdown and what we saw today and how amazing it really looks. And right after we get to see, yes, Harrison Dula. Yay. We get to see Mary Elizabeth Winstead finally playing Hera as she looks great. And it appears that she is in some trouble as we know that there is a big war coming. And then right after we get to see Chopper, of course, which we, you know, this is awesome, guys. Again, this is just super sweet. And then we get to see Balin, who is Ray Stevenson's dark side character. And it looks like we also get a woman character who must be his apprentice who is also wielding a red lightsaber just like Ray Stevenson's Balin and it's pretty interesting to see these characters and see that there are dark side users and I want to learn more about them and we'll talk about that in a later video as well and then we get another still shot of Sabine overlooking Lothal which looks great and man I just I get chills because it's like I, it, it's so cool to see something in animation come to life. I think they do a really good job there. And again, we see Ahsoka with Sabine Wren. And then we get to see Mon Mothma. So I thought that was interesting as we know that we just got the drop for the Andor uh, series uh, season two. We know that, well, the trailer was leaked. I don't know if they're going to be putting it out anytime soon. But yes, I did get to see it on Instagram. If you want, go look for it there. But yeah, we get to see Mon Mothma. So there you go. There, there's, there's more of that. And then of course, who do we get? Thrawn. We didn't get to see his face. We don't know the actor playing him, but we know that he's there. We're finally going to see him in the Ahsoka series in live action. And this did not disappoint again. So we see Ahsoka there and we then see the magistrate from, yes, the Mandalorian season two. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we see Balin's character again talking to Ahsoka as he ignites his lightsaber which looks really interesting because it looks like a katana lightsaber. I don't know if you guys kind of got the same uh, views or images or thoughts when you saw this, but that's exactly what I thought. Then we see Hera here talking, but it looks like they're gearing up for what is probably the biggest fight of their life, and that is against Thrawn and potential the Yu Zhang Vong, which we'll talk about, or we've talked about it, but we'll talk about it in a later video. But then we see here, as Ahsoka is getting ready to go up against Balin, ignites her lightsaber, and it looks very samurai-esque. I have to say they did a really good job doing that. Um, I really like the uh, the samurai vibes that I'm getting. And then we see the dark side user again. We see her in a ship. It looks like she's attacking some of the rebels. And then right after, we see Balin. I don't know where he is, but we know that it's in a ship and he's attacking some rebels. So there you go. And again, samurai vibes samurai vibes all, all, all over again and then we see here yes we finally get to see ezra in live action we then see sabine wren looking at a hologram of ezra which again looks so cool i can't wait to see his character which they did not show him as well i thought at least they would have shown like kind of the same way they did thrawn show like the back of it at least the back of like ezra or something but then right after we see ahsoka 
and this other character here who also is wielding a kind of katana lightsaber. I don't, it doesn't look like it's Ray Stevenson's Balin, or it doesn't look like the young woman that we get to see wielding the lightsaber. So I wonder who this person is, but we'll find out, I guess, as days go. Maybe they'll announce something, but it's an interesting one because now there's three dark side users with lightsabers. I don't know. It's a little interesting, but I guess we'll figure it out. Or maybe it is her. It could be, but we'll find out later on. Um, and then we see here Ahsoka jumping out and the trailer is done as we see right before the very end, the architect. So overall, the trailer looks great. And as you see here, it is going to start streaming in August. Now, I'm a little worried because unfortunately, Star Wars has had the MO of, you know, delaying things. And I'm hoping that this does not get delayed because it looks really good, guys. I really have no complaints i mean again after what we've gotten so far with man though it's been a little disappointing i mean i've enjoyed it but you know the last i would say two episodes have been kind of like all right it's got to pick up but i'm hoping the ahsoka series you know it's dave filoni's baby i can't see him disappointing us i can't see this show being an upset i think that there's a lot that this show's going to be connected to not even just the shows and mind you there, there's a reason why i say that i think there's going to be more connections to other things that are even going on now in the star wars universe in different timelines so i'm excited to see what this show is going to bring, how hard it's going to be. I can't wait to see Ezra. I can't wait to see Thrawn. I can't wait to learn more about the war that's going to be at hand and see what Ahsoka and the Rebels crew are going to be getting themselves into as they are on the search for Ezra Bridger and Thrawn as well as they know that Thrawn is the threat at hand in the series but guys comment down below what most excited you in seeing in the trailer i liked seeing chopper i'm not gonna lie to you it was so cool to see him i love chopper but again guys comment down below let me know your thoughts your theories on today's episode and what you're excited for to get out of star wars celebration as it is here today thank you so much for tuning in today guys remember for more star wars content hit that subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know i have a membership program there's three tiers to that make sure to join and as always the eternal sith then now forever later guys